man, I really want to speak on this article. Aoki Lee Simmons is the daughter of Russell Simmons, and she basically is making headlines because, let me read it. Aoki Lee Simmons held nothing back when she called out white America for its superficial love of hip-hop and its fallen stars. In, in a TikTok that began circulating on social media on Saturday, November 5th, the youngest daughter of hip-hop pioneer Russell Simmons blasted the genre's white fans for not joining in the collective mourning of slang rappers despite their perceived love of the artist's music. All right, so first of all, she's upset because these white fans are not mourning these rappers. Now, here's the thing, man. Um, here's the thing. All right, hip-hop, obviously, let's keep it real. Hip-hop right now is in, a, is, in a, is in a terrible state. It's very homicidal. It's very genocidal. So I don't understand. Why would you expect these white people to embrace music that's not embracing black people? You want white people to embrace a black rapper who's talking about murdering black people 100% in his music. I don't get it. I mean, yeah, white people are inclusive to hip hop because liberals are in the entertainment world. So they want to make hip hop feel included. That's why they include hip hop artists in commercials, sponsorships and things like that. But at the same time, I don't even agree with that because you're teaching the youth. Okay, in order to be considered a legitimate hip hop star, you need to rap about murdering your own people in order to be taken seriously in the hip-hop world and get sponsorships with corporate america you need to rap about gangbanging murdering and killing and i think that aoki is sending the wrong message because first of all she how can she really be a fan of these artists king von take off rest in peace to all of them they were young black men who i think were confused and they were willing to sacrifice their morals to make money a lot of them were gang members who king von for example has, is a suspect in over five homicides. After he died in 2020, Chicago police released all of these case files where he's the suspect. He beat a couple homicides. He went to court and beat a few of them too. So at the end of the day, how can she relate to that? How can you relate to somebody who's rapping about murdering people? You grew up privileged. You grew up with every opportunity in the world. You grew up rich. So why is it that you think that you can, 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 can be the voice of the, of the killers and murderers? How can you relate to that kind of music? How can any person who works a normal job relate to that? Oh, I like the beat. So you dance to the beat and you selectively ignore the lyrics. I don't get it, man. It's, it's, it seems fake to me. Peace. And white people don't get upset. You shouldn't mourn rappers who promote genocide in their music. Because which, if you do that, you're going to influence the next young black boy or girl to say, okay, in order for me to get that acceptance... I have to kill my own people and rap about it. Come on now. Peace.